that was very dramatic, a state of emergency and in fact it concentrates all power in the hands of the Prime Minister. He's completely sidelining the somewhat cumbersome cabinet. He'll just answer to a few senior bureaucrats. And it gives him powers now to control movements, to stop people traveling from town to town, to confine people indoors. Uh, very strong powers, including the powers to censor the media. He's been given very strict warnings about what he calls distorted information, although some people are being prosecuted even now effectively for criticizing what's seen as a quite lackluster response. Whether he uses these powers or not, we don't know much of uh, Bangkok here is very quiet now. A lot of it's already shut down. Uh, we've had that now for the last 10 days. It, in effect, everything except food shops uh, and a few other essential services have shut down. The cases in Thailand, this was the first country to get uh, a in coronavirus infection after China, right back on the 13th of January. But in fact, the infections rose very, very slowly, not just here, but in neighboring countries too. Some people hoped that perhaps the much warmer weather here might be a factor, but in the last 10 days, we've seen cases surge. To give you an idea, it went from one on the 13th of January to only 42 coronavirus cases on the very first day of this month. They're now at 934. Neighboring Malaysia is at 1700. They're very worried about the trajectory. What the government hasn't do, done yet, though, despite these enormous powers the Prime Minister now has, and effectively, remember, he's a coup leader and he's got those powers back, it hasn't actually used them because in all these countries, there's very little social safety net, a huge informal economy, shutting down all life will have devastating effects on millions of people. And already we've seen a huge exodus of people from Bangkok going out to the provinces to go back to their families because their jobs have collapsed. That's then spreading the virus. So all the, the countries in this region, and Thailand is a leading country, have this dilemma. What do we do? How tough do we get? The, medics, the medical experts are saying, you've got to get tough now, other you, otherwise you will end up like Italy. The doctors here are predicting 7,000 deaths in this country within 30 days if they don't get much tougher. But to do that, you shut down every avenue of economic life without a lifeline for all the lower income people. So. All governments in a dilemma. We have emergency rule. We just don't know yet how strict the Prime Minister is going to be in enforcing it. Thank you so much.